Constantine on this Friday in, in health news this afternoon, multiple myeloma. It's a deadly cancer that attacks and kills twice as many black people as it does white people. And as researchers have worked to find a cure, they have uncovered something else contributing to this racial disparity. African Americans don't always have the same access to current treatment and clinical trials. And as WDSU reporter Heath Allen shows us, a powerful partnership has now come together to try and level the playing field, pushing for health equity and health equity based solutions and ultimately a cure. Every day I look in the mirror, I'm reminded that I'm living with cancer. And that's a pretty powerful thing to just sit in. Eight and a half years ago, Tiffany Williams got the news. 46-year-old nurse practitioner and mother of three had cancer, multiple myeloma, no cure. Life changed instantly. I'm living with this. And unless there's a cure, I will always be living with it. Multiple myeloma is rare, considered terminal, forming in the white blood cells, impacting the immune system. Researchers find that African Americans face by far the highest risk. The incidence of multiple, multiple myeloma is twice as high, and the death rate is twice as high among African Americans. Why? Why are those numbers so high? Researchers concerned that African Americans don't always get an equitable standard of care. But when patients are involved in the clinical research and also when patients are given the appropriate standard of care, there is no difference um, at the end of the day in terms of the outcome. African-American patients do just as well, uh, uh, if not better, uh, than Caucasian patients when they're able to get uh, uh, the, the, the full kind of optimal treatment and aggressive approach that we typically take. Uh, and, and so uh, seeing really everyone uh, being able to get the best possible treatment is, is obviously what, what, what all doctors want. Dr. Andy Dallavisio, multiple myeloma specialist at Ochsner Hospital. Ochsner already teamed with Xavier University to create the Ochsner Xavier Institute for Health Equity and Research. Now working with the National Multiple Myeloma Research Foundation, groundbreaking clinical trials called the Cure Cloud Project as many as 5,000 patients. We want to have African-American and black patients uh, equitably represented in the Cure Cloud Project. So our work with Oshner is to ensure uh, that we do enroll uh, African-Americans as well as other patients into the Cure Cloud Project. We can't do a whole lot about the fact that um, blacks are, are diagnosed or affected with multiple myeloma at twice the rate as white Americans. But we sure can do something about the fact that we aren't receiving care at the same level. The good news, with the ongoing research and clinical trials, lives are already being extended by decades. Cure, a real possibility. When you think about the average age of this diagnosis being in people in their 60s and 70s, is, uh, is if you can get them to their you know, 80s or 90s, that, that, that's a victory. It may not happen in my lifetime, but I'm optimistic that it's that it seems like it's on the horizon. And that would be a victory on so many levels. It's certainly in sight. Heath Allen, WDSU News. Heath, thank you. And coming up tomorrow from 10 a.m. until 1 p.m., a multiple myeloma patient summit presented by the Multiple Myeloma Research Foundation, also in partnership with Oxner Health, dealing with health disparities in the black community as well as new treatments and